Hi everyone, I'm back. It's Thursday. It's a beautiful day. It's hot. The sun's out. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to continue the chasse series we've been covering this week. Today I'm going to look at the standard backward chasse, which is the backwards open chasse. So we need to come to standing. Now this step is the first chasse you'll learn. It's a good introductory step for crossovers and just a good way of practicing backwards outside edges. It's also featured in a lot of dances and as a filler in program, so it's a really important little step. It's very similar to the forwards at, um, open chasse in that it uses an outside edge for the push and then transfers onto an inside edge for the actual chasse part, which is just a weight transfer. Now, again, like the forward chasse, we ha it is going round a circle on an edge. So we're gonna pretend that my circle is here with the mat and I'm looking into it and extending beyond the mat that way. My arms would hug the circle and I'd be looking in, so I'm slightly rotated here. I'm gonna bend the knee. The foot that I'm gonna push onto if I were on the ice is gonna turn ever so slightly inward, so invert slightly, and I bend. I would then strike, rolling the ankle onto an outside edge, extending the free leg forward. The free leg extends along the line of skating, but my toe is turned out, so there's a rotation in the hip that means I can see the inside part of my leg. Again, my posture is maintained, ribs in, hips under, strong core throughout, sitting back as if I'm on a little stool, lengthening, almost aiming for a diagonal line there from head to toe. On a knee bend, strong knee bend on the skater knee. What happens at this point is I squeeze in and close together, bringing the free leg into the skating leg. I'm using the glutes to do so. I then bend. My free foot is currently flexed and lifted at about ankle height, or I say blade to boot height on the ice, parallel with my skating foot, and I bend. I lower and I change feet, now lifting the new free foot up to the same height. So again, ankle height and flexed. I'm now stood on an inside edge, maintaining my circle. The toe turns slightly inwards, and I'm ready to repeat the action, continuing along that curve. So it can be quick, it can be a bit longer, but it goes outside, inside, and has a nice extension, ideally. Although, if it's a shorter one, you might not extend so far, but there's still a beautiful point. There's always a bend, rise to come in, bend before the weight transfer, stay low, when we change the feet, sink a bit lower to push again. The other foot, push, bend, push, point and flex, outside and inside, <laughs> outside and inside, just hit the mat, outside and inside, hug in the circle. And that's that. Bye everyone.